Hey guys, it's Dimo from Dimostech, and today we are making a very simple, I wouldn't call it a prank, it's more for the regular IT team in your workplace, and it's a very simple script on the rubber ducky. So this is really a very simple script, so simple that trust me, you can write it yourself without even me providing anything in the description of this video. Anyway, let's jump into it. So first of all, as always, we use the ducktoolkit.com encoder and we start with the simple delay of 1 second, 1000 milliseconds, which will just let the computer initiate the rubber ducky, recognize its drivers as a regular keyboard and continue. Then we hit run, basically win key run, the GUI R will do that, then a small delay just to let it actually launch it, and then the original string. After that we just press enter, another delay of one second, and lock the computer. This is win key L, which will lock the computer. So in the string what we do is actually launch PowerShell and write a simple text. So I use this example, so first of all, in the first line, they will see next time, lock your PC yourself. And then for the second line, it's, let's go to the end of the sentence, from your dear IT team and a small smiley. Then you pipe it into MSG and asterisk so it will be seen for everyone. That's pretty much it, that's the whole script, just seven small lines. And obviously with a string you can play with a message that you want to show, you can write something else or you can, I don't know, add something else to punish the user, I don't know, change their wallpaper or something like that. You know what? Regarding changing the wallpaper, if enough people will like this video, I will show it next time. But for now, this is the basic script. Then what we just need to do is just hit here generate script, click OK, download our inject.bin into our rubber ducky, save it, and that's it. We are good to go. So, let's see this in action. So let's say this is a computer of someone who forgot to lock his computer. We approach with rubber ducky, insert it, let it do its thing. And as you can see, the computer is locked. Now, sometimes you will not see this message like this. We can already remove the rubber ducky. Sometimes you will not see here the message. You will just see it here when you try to log in. But you will always see it here. That's it. Now your user will know that he forgot to lock his computer and Obviously, he can just close it and continue to work as usual while we did actually lock his computer. And now, something new. So last week, Canon announced a new camera, the Canon EOS RP. This is a full-frame camera and probably the tiniest full-frame camera that we ever seen and also the cheapest. Well, obviously, it's not that cheap. It's 1,300 US dollars, but it's still the cheapest full-frame camera so far. It has lots of features, it's very good for photography, and I'm still very skeptic about its video capabilities. From what I've seen so far, it's not perfect. And honestly, though it has 4K, which my Canon 70D doesn't have, it's still not good enough for me to upgrade, for example, and I think I will wait for a second edition or something like that. But for now, this is the cheapest, probably one of the tiniest, full-frame cameras. Let me know in the comments what do you think about that, and I'll also leave a link where you can find more details and where to buy this camera. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one!